Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I'm having a bit of a lazy Sunday and I thought why not sit down and film a review and wear test of the new Glowish powder. This is the Luminous Press Powder from um, Huda's little baby brand. I feel like the whole point of this brand is to create something a bit more sustainable vegan, cruelty-free kind of thing, and I'm all here for it. And I've actually seen some really, really amazing videos of Huda applying it onto her face and it just looking beautiful. I also love that this campaign isn't like retouched in photos and it's like raw images. I kind of wish this was a thing ages ago. Um, I feel like Huda Beauty, the brand, is very, very full coverage, glam, like retouched airbrush, that Instagram look, and it's so refreshing to see that Glowish is kind of the opposite of that. I really, really, really love it. So initially I was only gonna do my base, but I thought, let me just show you the products that I'm using to prep my skin and all of that. And personally, how I would apply this. So first thing is first, I'm gonna get my serum on. This is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. Moving on to eye cream, I'm using the Biosense Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. And then for moisturizer, I'm using the Wind Medina Dew Melting Rose Water Cream. So my skin is all prepped, and I wanna use this powder kind of like a powder foundation all over. Exactly how Huda has used it in like her marketing imagery and campaign. I definitely posted something on her Instagram where she's like applying it onto her skin. So I'm going to be using it as the same thing, but I feel like you can totally get away with using this as like an all over face powder on top a foundation as well. So you can kind of use it how you want to, but I'm going to be testing this guy out like a base product rather than like just a finishing powder. So as I'm going to be using it as a base, I'm going to go in with my concealer first and just apply that to the areas where I want to highlight and brighten. Okay, now I am ready to get this powder onto my face and I got this in PR, so I'm just going to read you some of the things that came in this little pamphlet. So it's available in 13 stretchable shades with neutral undertones and it says on here that meet the powder that gives the natural finish you've been searching for. Glowish Luminous Press Powder is a tinted multitasking powder packed with pearls that in Instantly smooths and blurs for a radiant look. Love the sound of that already. Infused with antioxidants and skin loving ingredients, this buildable formula adds an undetectable veil of glowing coverage without settling into fine lines. It's the secret to glowish skin, whether you're keeping it simple or going full beat. So it says why you need this. It's the most versatile powder you've ever tried. It's suitable for all skin types, even dry skin. Matches are multi dew skin tint shades. It contains 80% naturally derived ingredients. It's fragrance free, it's non comedogenic. <laughs> I can never say that word. Uh, it's non-drying and transfer proof with an eight hour wear. So I'm gonna be testing it for eight hours today, so that's really good to know. It's infused with Damascus rose oil, vitamin E, and red bell pepper extract. The carton is made from FSC paper and is 100% recyclable, which I love. Um, so the Damascus rose oil is supposed to soothe, clarify, and locks in moisture. The red bell pepper extra is supposed to help protect skin against the effects of digital pollution like blue light. And then the vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant known for its moisturizing and soothing properties. So this is a clean product. And by that, there is no cyclic silicones, parabens, drying alcohol, so it's actually suitable for halal, non-certified. It's fragrance-free, talc asbestos-free only. There's no sulfates, there's no mineral oil, and no animal-derived ingredients, and so much more. It's vegan-friendly, it's not tested on animals, and also the container is made with 30% post-consumer recycled materials. That's a big whole bunch of information, and I feel like I just wanna get this on my face. Oh, also, this retails for 29 pounds. So, I'm just gonna get this uh, onto my face now. I've got this shade right here, which I feel like is gonna be a little bit dark on me, I'm not gonna lie. This is the lightest shade that I have. It is 04 Light Medium. I feel like if I do like this, I might have to get this in a lighter tone, because I'm loving, like, light coverage makeup in general. But yeah, I'm just gonna get this guy onto my face. So she uses this sponge. I don't know whether she wets it. I'm gonna not wet it, because I feel like it's gonna make the product go a little bit weird. So there's a bit of a flat side right here, and I'm just gonna rub it in here and get it onto my face. So let's give it a go. Okay, that is a lot of powder on there. <laughs> Hopefully I'm nice and in focus, but now, Oh wow, that is very, very full coverage. And actually, that's not too bad of a match. I feel like I could go a tad shade lighter. So, um, there's nothing actually left on my sponge, so I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Okay, right off the bat, there's a really beautiful skin-like finish to it. 
it doesn't feel too heavy. I feel like I definitely would need to get a slightly lighter shade, but we'll make it work for today. And my skin looks healthy through it. It doesn't look matte. You can see it's got a really nice, beautiful kind of shine to the skin. Okay, so one other thing I have here is a brush. And I thought I'd just try it out with a brush and see how I feel. This is the Face Bronze and Blush Brush. We'll just give it a go. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick this up on the brush. And it's picked up a lot of product. And I'm just going to apply it with the brush. I definitely prefer it with the sponge. I don't feel like with this brush it's given me the best finish. I mean, it still looks fine. Now, what Huda actually did, she had a lighter tone of this and set her under eyes with it. But this is the lighter shade I have, so I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder, and I'm just gonna get that on to my under eyes. So, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So, this is what my skin is looking like, and I'm sitting and filming right in front of my windows here. So, it's natural lighting, so this is as true to eye what this would look like. I mean, my skin still looks like skin. You can obviously tell that I've got something on my face, but it doesn't look drying. It doesn't feel drying either. Now, I'm not too sure about the non-transfer thing. We can try that in one of my check-ins, but this is what my skin's looking like. I would have to say, I definitely prefer the like cheek area to the forehead area, <laughs> especially because I just think this has blended it in really nicely into my face. It's looking a little bit like patchy here. I don't know why. I feel like it's showing up on camera a lot more than in real life. And there's also a little patch vibe here. So not too sure what that is, but overall, I really like the way that my skin's looking. So I'm gonna move on to the rest of my base and I've actually got the Glow Wish bronzer. So I'm just gonna get that onto all the areas that I like to look and feel nice and bronzed. And I'm not doing like a really neat face because I'm literally sitting at home doing nothing today. <laughs> so I'm just doing like a very, very quick bronze. That is actually a really, really, really beautiful creamy bronzer. I also have the brand new Glow Wish Cheeky Vegan Blush Powders. So I think I'm gonna go with this shade right here. This is called Caring Coral such a beautiful shade. I'm actually just going to use the same brush that I used for my forehead and get that onto my cheeks. There's a lot of pigment going on in there. Let's just give it a quick... Okay, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as what it looks like on the brush. <laughs> oh well, this is actually a very, very beautiful formula. It's a very creamy formula for a powder and it's got a really decent amount of glow as well, but it's not like shimmery. There's no shimmer to it, but my skin just looks really healthy. I have been using a lot of cream blushes because I just love the glow that it gives, but this is be this is actually beautiful. I feel like I could totally use this as like another kind of like cheeky, glowy look. So if any of you out there who are scared to use a cream blush, this is a great alternative. So this blush retails for £18, and I totally forgot to read you guys what this claims. Um, so it's a vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, transfer-proof, non-comedogenetic, comes in FSC-certified recyclable packaging, and the actual, like, packaging is made from 30% post-consumer recycled material. So I think that's uh, kind of, like, consistent throughout her um, square, like, blusher and base vibes. And then it says in here that it's a velvety blush with a marbled formula developed to give all skin tones a beautifully natural, fresh face, flush of color and soft focus glow, which I think is definitely, definitely true. It's infused with antioxidants and skin loving ingredients like Damascus, rose oil, red bell pepper extract, plant derived squalene, I love squalene, um, shea butter and vitamin E, and this is a non-powdery skin blurring blush and it gives you um, your cheeks a silky wash of colour that's super buildable. I probably won't put any more on my cheeks because IRL, it's picking up a lot more than it is on camera. It's available in four shades in total. Uh, the Buttery Radiant formula is non-drying and 90% naturally derived. It blends seamlessly thanks to the non-powdery texture and feels comfortable on the skin and is super long lasting, 12 hours to be exact, um, which is 
amazing. So, so far I am loving, I think my favourite has to be the blush. I think it's super beautiful. Um, but now I'm going to very quickly do the rest of my face and I'll be back. Okay, and just like that, my brows are filled in and I've popped a little bit of um, lip balm on and that is it. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to add any like mascara or anything. I still have a few eyelash extensions hanging on to dear life. Um, but this is the kind of face that I've done for today and it is currently... Four minutes past 12 and I'm gonna wear this for eight hours so I'll check in every two hours so I'll see you guys in two hours and I will let you know how my base is holding up so my first impression so far the color is slightly darker than what I would actually pick up um, so depending on how this lasts I might have to pick up another shade I love the finish of it it feels like I've got nothing on my skin which is what I love it definitely has given me like an even coverage there's just like a bit of um, like a weird patch going on right here which I'm not too sure why that's happened and as you can see there's like a weird little patch on this side as well but um so far I'm really loving how healthy my skin looks I do I do really like it I have high hopes for this especially now that all my makeup is done I really do love the the feel of it um it still looks like my skin it doesn't look cakey so far, so good. So I am going to leave it as that and I will see you guys all in two hours. Two hour check-in and my base still looks exactly the same. It, um, if anything, I feel like it looks better than it did when I first applied it. Um, still nice and glowy. It hasn't really come off anywhere, which I'm very impressed because it is a, a powder product. Um, but yeah, so far, two hours in, makeup still looks like I've freshly just put it on. Um, these little bits here, where they've kind of like made like a weird mark on my cheek, it's still there, and this one as well, it's still there, but um, I feel like I might have just applied it too heavily in one area, I didn't blend it out quickly enough, but um, it doesn't look bad, but that's the only kind of downfall so far, other than that, two hours in and looking great. Check-in number two, it is four o'clock and I just got back from a walk. And this is what my base is looking like. Still, very beautiful, very soft, glowy, supple. I still really, 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 really like it. Actually, let me show you in like more natural daylight. Here I am sitting right next to the sun, so you can see what it looks like in sunlight. It's not settled into any fine lines. And also, I figured out what these weird kind of patches were, um, and I think it's because my base I didn't like blend it out properly and it's like a build up of product so I kind of didn't blend it properly and it got like I'm assuming like stuck to my skin but that is um what that is because it's actually a lot thicker in certain areas so yeah it's just not blended properly so that's totally my fault I'm gonna move ah, it's a little bit better about the sun um but yeah four hours check in and I'm still really 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 liking it I feel like this could be such a easy everyday kind of base because it's so natural but this is what we've got so far at the four hour mark. I am back. It is six o'clock, so I've had my base on for six hours. And this time I actually bought a mirror because I was looking in my viewfinder the last few times, but I wanted to do my third check-in of the day. And this is what my base is looking like right now. Um, I've eaten, I've drank a drink. I've even like wiped my mouth and my base seems to be like actually really nice around the mouth. It's not got overly oily or like glowier throughout the day, but um, I'm still loving the way that my makeup is looking, apart from this area where it's a little bit like not blended out. It's like still thick on my skin. I have actually been touching my face and I do feel like in certain areas it has come off like right here. I think I was touching my face like this and this bit has come off. So I wouldn't say from these six hours of wearing it that it's like smudge proof and transfer proof. I'm pretty sure when I do the little um, tissue test at the end of the day, I'm sure quite a bit of it will come off. But for six hours wear, for my skin to still look like skin, still for it to look glowy, I'm actually very, very impressed. I feel like I didn't really have high hopes for this because it's not really a powder foundation, but that's how like Huda put it on her videos. I had no idea what it was gonna be like, but I'm very, very, very pleasantly surprised with the way that it's sat on my skin, especially for people who want like that natural makeup vibe. This is, I think, beautiful. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see how the next two hours hold out and that'll be a full eight hour wear test. But yeah, those are my thoughts so far. And I will see you for my last check-in in like the next clip. <laughs> it's my final check-in of the day, it's eight o'clock. We're just about to have some dinner and I thought I would jump on here very quickly to give you guys my final thoughts on this base. So I was giving two back loads of like cuddles and kisses and um, I've definitely got rid of all of it on my chin. Um, not all of it actually, just in kind of this region right here. But um, it's definitely, definitely coming off in certain areas where I feel like I've like really like touched my skin and like rubbed it in a sense. Um, but on my cheeks, the blush still looks beautiful. It's definitely toned down a lot more than the um, morning of the uh, of this video. But um, I'm not mad at it. I think it still looks really nice and healthy and glowy. Um, but everywhere else, my base still looks pretty beautiful. I feel like as the day goes on and like my natural oils in my skin are like coming out, um, it makes the base look even, even more beautiful. But um, I've actually really enjoyed using this and I think I'm going to get a lighter shade for sure um, for whenever I just want like a real easy base to do. I did wear my sunglasses uh, when I went on my walk and I did forget to mention that it has come off slightly on my nose but that tends to happen quite a lot, especially when I don't use a primer or if I don't use any all-nighter setting spray or anything. But I'm not mad at the base. After eight hours, um, just my chin and kind of these little areas where I feel like it's slightly come off, especially in my chin, but when you compare these areas to my chin, um, actually it's not really come off that much. Um, but yeah. Overall, I am very, very happy with this base. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review video. Please let me know if there are any other bases that you want me to test out. But that's everything from me for now. I'm sending all of the love and the light from my heart to you guys. And I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!